What did we used to believe on how you physically built a startup? What was the process we used? We used to build startups by managing processes. We said, well, hey, we understand how to build products. We build them exactly like we build them in large companies. We hire product managers, and we do something called waterfall engineering, which I'll explain in a second, which basically are step by step by step. In fact, what we used to do is we used to draw this diagram on napkins. We used to say, well, you come up with a concept, then you raise some seed funding, and, and then you go into product development, and then you have alpha test, beta test, and first customer ship. What could be wrong with that? That's, in fact, for 30, 40 years, this was the canonical model for how to build startups. And we'd say marketing, well, we understand. Well, engineering is developing the product. Marketing is creating all the marketing communications material and you know, hiring a PR agency and creating early buzz. And then for marketing, the world's most fun job was have the party. You get to create demand by having a launch event and you think about branding. And your job really was to create end user demand and drive it into the potential sales channel. For sales, what that meant is unless the VP of sales was a founder, you tended to hire them around the time engineering was saying uh, we're in alpha and beta test. And they were going out and starting to hire their first sales staff. And they were looking at your five-year revenue plan. And since it was obviously came from a burning bush and it was the word of God, they were just going to execute that plan. Why? Because it said so. And you, know, and you said so. And if you had investors, they said so. There might not be any facts behind it, but there it was. It was the spreadsheet. And so they were building the sales organization. So again, at that first customer ship, if marketing was going to drive demand, they were just going to have a sales curve that took off because the revenue plan said so. The next piece was the biz dev group. And business development used to mean the group that put together all the deals to create the whole product, W-H-O-L-E. The whole product meant startups, just because of their size, are incapable of creating all the features and, and services, etc., that a mainstream customer might need. So why don't we hire business development people to do partnerships so at first customer ship, we could look like a large company for mainstream customers. The only fallacy in this is that you assume that your first customers are going to be in the mainstream. It turns out for most startups, your first customers are actually crazy people like you. And so therefore, creating this entire cloud of deals are actually useful a year after first customer ship, but in fact, just get in your way on day one. The other piece is engineering. And engineering, how simple could that be? It was understood. We did exactly what we did in large corporations. You wrote a market requirements document, then engineering shut their doors, rolled up their sleeves, and went into waterfall engineering, which we'll describe a little later, you hired a QA department, then at the end, finally when it was all done, you hired a tech pubs department, and all the product was ready to go in version 1.0, all the features at one time at first customer ship. And this, for 30 or 40 years, was the way we thought about startups. There can be no other way. This is how we manage the process. We now know this is just simply wrong. And I'll explain to you uh, what we're going to do instead.